Hi, welcome to educators.com. I'm Shavanti, your Hadoop instructor. In this module, we are going to discuss about the high user defined function, built in aggregate function, built in table generating function, and creating our own custom UDS in the high. High user defined function. We do have a separate user defined functions like a mathematical functions and string functions. Under this mathematical functions, if you wanted to manipulate any of these uh, values like round or seal, fold, um, floor or if you want to find out any of the greatest, least or generating a random number or finding out the square roots, sine, cos, scan, such kind of the mathematical uh, functions if you want to use any of these things. We do have this mathematical function, built-in functions are already available in the high. Similar way, we are also having the string related functions. The help of this suppose upper, lower, repeat, reverse, if you wanted to do a string reverse, and if you wanted to extract some content between this string, like substring method is there, the split method is available. That means a lot of built-in methods are available. So here each and every built-in method details are clearly has been given as part of the Hive documentation. Let me take you to the Hive uh, uh, built-in functions documentation. So whenever you have any requirement, first try to look into the built-in functions and see whether it is uh, uh, sufficing your need or not. If it is not, then you can go ahead and think about your uh, own custom UDX. Just open your browser and just search the high built-in functions. So here you will be having the cvp.apache.org. This is the high documentation wherein you can see. So if you click on this high documentation over here, there is something called a language manual UDF and here you can see a different types of the built-in functions. A lot of built-in functions are available. If you just click on the mathematics over here, See this round. If you wanted to round it to any of these uh, values, it is any decimal, any of the floating number is available. And similarly, if you want to find out the random generation number, exponential, logs, and converting into the hexadecimal, absolute, right, returning absolute values, finding out the tans and cos, sine, right. So, a lot of built in functions are available. These are all the mathematical functions. So based on your requirement, you can just come here and you can see all your built-in function uh, requirements. Similar way, the date functions are also available. Like if you wanted to convert the, uh, convert uh, you know your uh, date into the unit time stamp, and also if you wanted to extract only the years from their month from their existing dates. Similar way, hours, minutes, seconds. If you want to extract from the time stamp. And also here, if you wanted to add these two dates, you can add a date, add, date, subtract. All right, so here uh, we do have a different types of uh, uh, built-in methods that are available. And if you see this, you will be having, if you wanted to find the month between and date format, if you wanted to convert from one format to other format. These are all the built-in functions, uh, uh, you know, the, which are available as part of this. Similar way, we do have the string functions as well. Uh, like if you wanted to concatenate two strings or if you wanted to uh, you know find out the length if you wanted to change it to be lower case or upper case and also if you wanted to uh, you know see the regular expressions if you wanted to use and finding out the reverse replacing repeating so a lot of building functions related to the strings as well so here this is the link you can directly come in and you can see for your uh, building functions uh, you know, mathematical and the date and the string functions, whatever I have shown you. And also, over here, we do have the built-in uh, UDS as well, that means aggregation functions. Aggregation functions are nothing but, uh, it uses, uh, instead of a single uh, column, it uses a multiple things. Like if you wanted to find out the average, it uses a lot of values. Like if you wanted to find out the maximum, minimum, or standard deviation, sum, average, count, such kind of the things you will be calling that as aggregate functions. 
and also we do have something called as table defined functions are available user defined uh, table functions like we do have explode and uh, parse and with the help of this what you can do is uh, make use the explode it, it returns one row from the each of the element if you are having a multiple array so a lot of built in functions are available here to see these things let me just open the built in uh, functions documentation in the hive you can also see the UDAF and UDTF details there and here you can see something called a UDAF that is aggregation functions alright so these are count, sum, average, maximum, minimum so it takes a lot of values and then it will return in a single value from there similar way you will be having the table generating functions as well like as you mentioned the data explode and the different methods are available so here once you understand each and every, I mean once you see these built-in functions and if you understand that the built-in functions are not sufficient for your need, in that case itself you will be you know you will be writing your own custom UDFs. And here writing the custom UDF is uh, uh, how you will be I mean here you can write in the Java or any other programming languages. To write it in the Java over here, once we log into the Cloudera Quick Start view, you can open your Eclipse. There you can create a package and we can create a class. And whatever the method, I mean whatever the custom UDF you are writing in the hive, it must need to override the evaluate method. And also it must need to extend the, I mean you must need to use this uh, apache.org.hadoop hive.exec.udf. You must need to extend the UDF class and override the evaluate method. And once you write the program, the code for your own custom UDFs, like probably converting your uh, temperature from one form to other form, like configure to foreign image, or it can be anything. So you can write your code, and once the code is written, you must need to export that into the jar file, then add that uh, jar into your hive shell, and then you can create a temporary function and create custom UDF method. So let me log into the Cloudera Quick Start VM and show you how to write your own custom UDFs. So I logged into the Cloudera Quick Start VM and here to write your custom UDF, just double click on your uh, Eclipse on top of your screen. Once you double click on this Eclipse, it will take you to this particular screen. To write your high, what you need to do is, you must need to uh, you must need to click on your uh, right click on your training and you have to add some of the jar files because to write your hive shell or hive queries you must need to extend the UDF class and override the evaluate method so the queries related to that uh, the, the definitions related to those uh, classes and everything is available as part of the another jar so that just right click on the build path and here configure the build path and click on the libraries and add external jars under your add external jars just navigate to the path where your uh, uh, hive is installed so here hive is installed under user go to the file system right and here click on user and then click on the lib lib directory inside the lib directory you do have a hive folder so inside the hive you do have again a lib so user lib hive lib is the directory wherein you will be having all the jar files so in that to write your uh, custom video so so you need to add this particular high jar. There is a one jar is available which is a high EXCC jar. So you just need to add this specific jar. Just click on OK so that the high EXCC jar uh, gets added to here so that it will allow you to write your custom UDFs by extending the UDFs class and overriding the evaluate method. So this is the first step you need to do. Similar way, um, and here what you need to do is just create a package because whatever the program instead of taking export of all the programs just create a package over here in a package and let's just call it as uh, my all right hive uh, package all right just click on finish a new package gets uh, created and see this my hive package uh, uh, gets created over here and now you can right click on this my hive package and you have to create a new class 
So just create a class over here. And for example, in this uh, um, custom UDF, what we are going to do is uh, we wanted to add some salutation to each and every employees, for example. So let's create some class called salutation class, for example. We'll just click on finish. And if you see this, salutation class has been created and the content whatever I have given you just paste here. So this is your package name. As I mentioned, you, you must need to extend your UDF class and override the evaluate method. So what exactly you will be writing over here is the code. Like for example, here I'm converting my temperature from Fahrenheit to the centigrade. Simply I can write uh, in formulas over here and finally I will be returning this particular uh, using the return statement. I can return that so that uh, on top of your hide shell, you can see these written results. So in this example, what we are doing here is, uh, in this evaluate method, the text input is nothing but, this is the, the column, whatever you are referring. For example, salutation of some employee name. So each and every employee name, before that it is something adding some dear, dear Shavanti, dear ABC, like that. For all, the, all of them, you wanted to add some salutation. So here, initially it takes all of the values, and this evaluate method directly goes to each and every record. So all the records that will add this particular year. And uh, here what we are doing here is two dot input dot two string. That is nothing but we are just converting that into the input as a text, right? So to convert to add these two strings, so first of all I'm converting that into the Java. And then always the written object has to be a map reducer object, like that is a text. So we are just converting that as a written of you know, text. So like this, you know, you will be writing your uh, UDF. So it can be any of the UDF. All these lines are same, guys. My all these lines like extending the UDF, overriding the evaluate method, returning statement is also same. But in between this, you will be writing what kind of the things you are going to do. Just convert that into the string and apply all the string functions, and finally you will be returning these things. Then save it. Once you save it, just export your my hub package, export into the jar file, give a name guys, home cloud era, hive udf.jar. Just click on finish. Yeah. So if I come back here and see on top of my screen, I can see my hive udf.jar. Right? So now what we need to do is just open a hive shell and you have to add this particular jar file. And then we have to create a temporary function to use this particular salutation class. For that, open another shell and just type hive so that it will be taking you to the hive shell. And now let's add all of these jars over here that uh, hive beauty of that jar. Let's add it over here. And if you see this, add jar and give the jar for your name. Home cloud and a hive beauty of that jar. Once you add this particular jar, all these classes and the packages you can use from whichever is there in this jar. And now you can uh, create a temporary function. Create temporary function. Function name I'm calling it as a my salutation. As which function you're creating is nothing but this is the package which we have just created. That is a my hub package. And inside that salutation is the class. If you observe this, this is a my hub package and the salutation is the class. So this is how you will be referring this particular function so that in case if you wanted to refer call the salutation class anywhere, instead of calling entire this thing, I can simply call it as a my salutation. So let's see whether we do have our employee table or not. So let's start from employee for instance. Okay, employee table not exists. Let me just see. So let's create a sample class over here. Create table an employee. ELT table we are creating, which consisting of an employee ID and this consisting of an employee name, some salary. For example, row format delimited fields terminated by comma, for example. So once this table is created, let's load that data into the Hadoop. So for that, let's prepare a data set. So to prepare a data set over here, just create a GAD and some EMP, EMP for example. Let's create an employee ID and employee name and some salary, some other employee, some salary. All right, some content is here. 
as it is a comma separated, you just need to load this particular file, EMP file into your uh, hive shell. So just go back to your hive shell and similar way how we used to load data, local in part, and just give your file name, which is the EMP, need to table, EMP is my table name. We are just loading that data into this. So if you wanted to see after loading, just see the data is there. Now, in the previous case, we have already in the previous case we have already created our uh, a method called mycelitation, right? So now we can call that method on these uh, employee name, right? So that uh, it will be displaying like dear Shravanti, dear ABC like that. Yeah, if you see this, select mycelitation is the uh, function which I have created. Right, the employee name is a column from EMP table. So EMP table, it is taking all the employee names from this and it is adding that DM. That means whenever I'm having this my salutation, it internally checks any of these. Uh, when I created a temporary function, it was using that uh, class name as a package name dot that class. So it goes and executes that specific class. And if you forget to add that jar file, then it doesn't even have the information about your uh, my hive package and uh, your salutation class information. So you must need to add that jar. And then second, we have to create a temporary function to execute, uh, add this uh, package name dot class name so that we can directly call this uh, function anywhere in any of, the, any of the table, not only on the employee table, any of the table if you wanted to use any of the salutation class, you can just mm -hmm. use this uh, my salutation of that particular column. This is how you can create your uh, high custom UDFs. So in this module, we have seen about the built-in functions and we have seen the how mathematical string related, data related functions works. And also we have seen the UDA, like aggregations uh, functions and also the table functions. And in case if the built-in functions are not sufficient for your requirement, you can also write your custom UDFs. That will take care about uh, mm, extending your UDF class and overriding the evaluate method. Write your code and export into the jar file. Then we added that into the jar in the hive shell and created a temporary functions to call this uh, custom UDF function whichever, whenever you required. Thank you. Let's catch up in the next module.